All right, welcome back, everybody. We know that we love keeping you in the know on where to go with the help of InTown.com. Today, we're talking about Memorial Day activities for the kids, also a great summer camp. Laura Doloff is joining us right now with Ken Glasson, owner of Mount Pleasant Paintball. Guys, welcome to the program. Laura, I want to start with you. Big, big weekend coming up, kind of the official oh, yes. start to the summer season, and you've got a lot of great deals on InTown.com. Oh, we do. Um, Memorial Day weekend is upon us, and um, InTown.com is full of amazing opportunities for your family and friends um, to celebrate our veterans and those serving our country today. Um, and really just wonderful things to celebrate uh, the life that their sacrifices have really given us. Um, under community and events, you can go on there and find out about Memorial Day celebrations, um, concerts, events, and um, really just all the who, what, and where's. So everything going on around town, if you want to check out a free concert, you guys are the place to go. Exactly. Everything right at your fingertips. Um, and the other thing, uh, it, what I love about in town too is it, it's also just creative out of the box ways to kind of celebrate things. Um, one of our new companies, uh, Mount Pleasant Paintball, um, they have a really great educational program that can um, teach us all about the battles that were fought in our country mm -hmm. and um, in really just in a fun, fun way. And um, Ken's here to kind of tell us about that, and we're just really excited. Well, Ken, tell us about uh, Mount Pleasant Paintball a little bit. You yourself are a veteran of our nation's armed forces, and we thank you so much for doing that. But tell me about this great little summer camp that's coming up and how you're going to mix in some education with some fun for the kids. Well, the, the entire uh, company was set up originally by a, a group of 12-year-olds, my son and his friends. They were on the board of directors and they formed a plan. And one of the things that they want to do, and in, in not just paintball, but was honoring our veterans. Because mm -hmm. I, I believe personally that we really don't honor the veterans in the way we should for the sacrifices that they've had. And maybe I'm, I'm biased because of my background, but in each of the courses, it's not paintball. It is, you play paintball, but it's, it's reliving a historic battle in our history. We have five different courses ranging from World War I to World War II to the Battle of Kapchi from when I was in Gulf War I all the way up to the jungles of Vietnam. And each one simulates through interaction with veterans. We have the veterans start the games and it, it really teaches the kids about our history. And then we have the veterans there interacting with our youth. So they're really learning about what our past has been. So right. there's some characteristics from each one of those wars or battles that are on the courses that people would be able to identify with once they learn that lesson and go out onto the field? Yes, and one of the seventh grade teachers that had come out from Cario actually said that, you know, to take their class on a field trip hmm. because they could land on the beaches of Normandy with vehicles that we've simulated, oh, the wow. original writings that are on the side, the authentic colors, and they'd go up to the two German pillboxes. So in our summer camps, what we're trying to do is um, take really what it would cost for just the paint and then give that to the kids. I mean, it's $300 for the week, but you get five days, and in that, the kids get to come out and interact with veterans, have combat veterans talk to them and about tactics and battles from each of the ones. I mean, obviously from World War I, we're yeah. limited on our, our uh, veterans, but talk to them about the battles. Then we have professional paintball uh, people that play on a circuit to come out and teach. Um, it, it includes lunch. Um, it includes a free shirt, and then we give them an annual pass to come back. And yes, we could charge a lot more. It's a seven or eight hundred dollar value, but we want to bring the kids in and really let them learn. And, and so we set that up for four different weeks this, this coming summer. And I'm sure there's plenty of adult supervision there for the kids. If the veterans are right there that know how to handle, you know, weapons. Not saying that a paintball is a weapon, but uh, it's a market. It's, it's going to be safe. Yes. Well, if you if you've been to the course, if you go online, you can see safety is paramount. Mm -hmm. So that we're very strict on the rules of where they can and can't go, and they have to have on their marker a barrel cover, a helmet, a mask all, at all times. Well, that, it sounds like a really interesting, interesting week. Uh, if people want to sign up for that camp, they just go to intown.com. Can they call you? What do they need to do? Uh, either intown.com and they'll pull up the Mount Pleasant Paintball website, but uh, mountpleasantpaintball.com. It'll pull up our website and there's a drop down that'll say summer camps and gives all the details. And then there's a phone number there as well. They could call and just interact and, and answer any questions. The biggest question normally is what age group? And there really isn't, it's up to the parents. Mm -hmm. So if the parents are comfortable enough that the seven or eight year old is mature enough to understand and learn about the, the, our histories and battles and, and be interacting in the paintball community, then we, we'll bring them out there. It certainly sounds like a great activity. Guys, thank you so much for being on the program. We really do appreciate that. Remember, intown.com, all those websites on your screen right there. We've also got a great giveaway to tell you about right now. Be the fourth caller at uh, 849-2535 to win a 50% off coupon to use towards a birthday party for 10. The total value is $97.50. To win, you must be at least 18 years of age and live within the ABC News 4 viewing area. Again, that number to call, 849-2535 for your chance to win. Now we're going to send it over to Tessa. 
It's almost.